everybody, welcome back to Tassel's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Happy New Year. 2023 is upon us. And it's always nice to look back, isn't it? It's, it's really a fun time to look back and see what has come to us in the prior year in this wonderful, wild world of wigs and just kind of reflect. And sometimes when you can take a snapshot of a year, you can really see some technology and innovation. And you might even come to understand that the wig manufacturers are listening in certain cases, right? Um, now these are still mass produced wigs and they can't please everybody, but we are so blessed with so many options. But I do think they are listening. They want to bring us things that we're going to love and enjoy. So this program today is all about curl, new curl. Uh, these curly styles that I'm featuring today all hit the market in 2022, and they are among some of my favorite curl ever. Up until now, uh, Ellen Villa has really had a diversity of curls, but Beltress has come onto the scene in a very big way. Even John Renault got into the curl arena this year. So we're going to Featured wig styles today are a part of my personal wig collection. You can find them at Wig Studio One. If you drop below this video and expand the description box, I'll attach a link directly to each one of the featured styles today. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the Wig Studio One website where you can see all of the colors and the pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. And don't forget to visit us on YouTube, a private Facebook group, and Instagram. All of those links are also below the video. So we're going to start out with probably my favorite new curly style of 2022. It's behind me here. This one is by Beltress. It's Twix. T-W-I-X um, in the color Tris Lettuce Blonde. We're going to try it on. I'm going to try each one of these on, but I want to go over this curl with you and, and let you know why I really enjoy it. Okay, so first of all, let's just examine the bushiness of this curl. Like, it is thick and bushy. I have three twigs, and some of them have a more intact spiral. Others uh, are a little have a little more of a brushed out look. This tress tress lettuce blonde one has a more frizzy, brushed out look. Okay, you can see some of these spirals. This just reminds me of some of the old time perms. You get a spiral spiral perm, and brush it out a little bit, you're probably gonna end up with something like this. And it's just a glorious, glorious head of hair. Now this one has a lace, an extended lace front and left monofilament side part. I am so happy that Beltress has made extended lace fronts versus the very short lace fronts that they used to do on their creative lace fronts. These go all the way through the ear tab and I am so happy about that. Okay, beautiful color. So here it is in all of its wild Glory, doesn't this take you back to the 70s and 80s? I don't think this will ever go out of style because there are, there's so much natural hair texture out there that's like this. So I always think that, I, for me, it's nostalgic. Like I never had enough hair to get this kind of a look. My hair was naturally curly and frizzy and it wasn't cute. <laughs> it wasn't cute. And then I started to lose it. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. I just wasn't blessed. I got the shallow end of the gene pool. <laughs> my mom always said, this kind of looks like my biological father's, uh, my hair looked like my biological father's hair. And I'm like, great. <laughs> I hit the lottery. My sister, on the other hand, has beautiful, thick, natural, curly hair. She very well could have worn it like this. Um, so again, just looks like a spiral perm, thick, bushy, minimally layered. A 
love, love, love it. My favorite way to wear it is just by taking some of the bulk away from the sides. Somebody said to me, well, Taz, it just overwhelmed you. It's too much hair. And I'm like, that's what I love about it. Yeah, this is my favorite new curl that came out in 2022. So let's check out another one. There was a new curl that came out by Ellen Villa in 2022. I have it down here. Let's try it on. It's wild and free and so me. <laughs> this is Loop by Ellen Villa. And Loop is unique because it has a lot of different curl patterns going on at once. Um, if you look at the types of naturally curly hair, you can see a lot of variation. Some is a complete, you know, corkscrew, perfect. Other ones have more of an S or a zigzag pattern. This one combines a couple of different looks. So you're gonna see an S pattern in there. You're gonna see a little bit of a bolder, softer curl. It's a wonderful mixture, and I think they're trying to mimic natural curly hair. And um, personally, I think they nailed it. Now, what I love about it the most is that it's not heavy and full of permatease. So it just feels very light on the head. It has a beautiful cloud-like texture. Um, there's very little permatease in this one. I would say just a moderate amount, none of the big fluffy pillowy type. So you can tamp down and sculpt this style however you want without it feeling heavy like a helmet on the head. A lot of curly styles require a lot of permatease to hold the style up. This one, all the work is being done by the fiber itself. So you're going to see a lace front and then a little bit of a mono crown about right there. And uh, the lace front is perfect absolutely perfect so that you can really work that curl around the face bring it up away from the face you can style it away from the face so many options i love the lace front on a style like this but isn't that curl isn't that curl beautiful all of this mixture of curl types and it has a classic round voluminous look but again if you're wanting to tuck and tame, you can absolutely get the look that you want. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Now, uh, this one is from John Renault, and John Renault doesn't have a very good track record of having a diverse curl op diversity of curl options. They do have a nice wavy pattern, um, but this one in particular really stood out to me because it's so out of the box for John Renault. So did they do curl or did they do curl? They didn't put their toe in the water, they jumped in to the deep end with this curl pattern. This is Alana by John Renault in the color Palm Springs Blonde. Alana is a short style with abundant, perfectly formed ringlets all over. Lace front, left mono part. The volume is very distinctive. The curl is just little orphan Annie ringlets. Again, I love curl. And I had to bring this one out by John Renault because first of all, kudos to them. I really admire them going out on a limb with these curls. I love that. Second of all, it's a little different. I don't know of any other wig style out there with this kind of perfectly intact ringlets. Um, Jamila Plus by, uh, by Ellen Villa will come close. But again, just how perfect is this? I just feel, I feel cute and carefree under this wig style. I have energy, it just says energy. And it shows, I think curls are very youthful too. Um, there's just something cute and youthful about the curls. Um, now these fibers seem to be on the dry side to me. So I feel like I need to put some moisture on them. This has been in the box for several months. Um, but look at that, wow. So just remember, if you go to brush out these curls, you might end up with just a frizzy mess. You're probably 
Really gonna need to love the intact look of these to keep them looking their best. I would use like a Simply Styling light silk spray to keep these curls intact, defined, and looking their best. Really cute, really cute curls. Bouncy and abundant and adorable. Okay, so let's bring out one more for a new curl pattern that, arrived, that arose in 2022. We're gonna take a look at this one here. So here I'm wearing the new Belle Tresses Coco in British Milk Tea. Now Coco is still on pre-order. I think they're gonna start uh, seeing some inventory come in uh, around the first part of 2023, but it went on pre-order in 2022. I fell in love with this curl pattern for Belle Tress. It's a bigger, softer, rounder type curl compared to the shattered, tapered styles that they have been coming out with and those that they're known for. So this is just a very soft, beautiful look. And it's not a tight curl pattern that we saw on the uh, Alana. Um, and I have kind of deconstructed some of that with my fingers here just to give it a more choppy look. But you can see it's a soft curl pattern like you set it in rollers and then just picked it apart gently. I love the fact that it has a little bit of um, a smoother look around the face. I think that is more manageable than having tighter curl around the face. This one has a temple to temple lace front extended and center monofilament part. So this is the new Coco by Beltress. And again, Beltress, just an ever expanding diversity of curl options with that brand. This has been really fun. This has been a look at a few new curly styles that have come out in 2022. Um, really enjoying it. I feel like my name is all over it. Everybody have a great day and happy new year. We'll see you soon right here at Taz's Wig Closet.